Hey, Kiran, Daphne here. Hope you're well. Uh, I don't know where you are in the world. Maybe you're in India, but I really hope you and your family are safe and well and uh, keep motivated, keep going. Uh, okay, so here we are. This is really interesting essay. You've done a good job here. I like this question, actually. And um, also, I really like your corrections. Good work there. That's you've really thinking about what you're writing. Uh, that's a great way to make improvements all the time. Uh, okay, so here we go. It is too expensive to look after and repair old buildings. This money should be spent on building modern buildings instead. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Okay. Plenty of money is spent in maintaining ancient residential or commercial constructions. However, you don't need the um, semicolon there because however does this for you. So take out that. It should be utilized for developing new structures. However, um, plenty of money However, you need some people in here. Uh, uh, we could say modern, modern, no, not manner. Uh, however, frequently, town planners suggest it should, you, because you need to have another subject in here, sort of people. Uh, town planners suggest it should be utilised for developing new structures with trending amenities um, and personally. Trending amenities? Mm, I think you might need on trend, which is not very academic writing. Uh, so do you mean... Um, oh, sorry. Ah, relevant amenities. And then you might, because I'm not sure what you mean, you might have to hear such as um, workspaces and gyms. I, I, I don't quite know. I mean, maybe as an example. And personally, I strongly disagree. Strongly agree, rather. This essay will argue it's crucial to construct new constructors using examples. Lovely. This is a lot of words, just to say, in when you don't have very many words, this is eight words okay in a quite a short essay so just be careful of your examples sometimes you might make like you might not need all this detail to demonstrate points on one hand there's ample evidence that hefty amounts of money okay hefty fabulous word um actually a bit like i was going to say here a bit like plenty it is a lovely lovely word but um plenty is okay but i would say large amounts would be better hefty again a little bit informal i would go here uh, better ielts words substantial or significant both those um, are useful for many many ielts essays uh, write them down use them uh, so amounts plural verb are injected into maintaining old constructions. The central reason behind this is that it would require consistent, yes, consistent, lengthy, because it takes a long time, you've got to keep going, and it takes a long time, or laborious, maybe, or both. Oh, sorry, hang on. And laborious. Human intervention to repair drainage systems and cracked ceilings, which could here I will pick, it's a suggestion, it's not always, which could cause human life to danger, okay? Uh, now, old constructions, is that rather than it, so keeping um, such buildings um, up, mm, keeping such buildings in use would require, I, I think you need a bit more explanation rather than just it. I think you need a little bit more here, just to explain it more, and then after that your writing is lovely, this is, is really, really lovely. Consequently, government authorities could, very nice, possibly issue an order to vacate the property. For example, empirical report from the uh, demonstrated that every year more than 35,000 old buildings are emptied, really, as they could not afford to carry out maintenance. Rather than they could not afford, let's change this around, as the required yeah required maintenance is 
simply not affordable. Okay, rather than they could not afford, so if you look at what I've done here, it's simply not affordable. I'm as often as I can, I take out they. Okay, it's not wrong, but this is more sophisticated. Uh, as a required maintenance is simply not affordable. Boom. Therefore, it's conclusively clear structures are not met. Um, now, that many structures are not maintained consistently due to the heavy repair costs. Good. Uh, I'm wondering if you could get a conditional sentence in here. Uh, let's try and get a conditional sentence in here somewhere as well. On the other hand, there is a case where people prefer redeveloping old structures by fully collapsing. We would say, um, uh, ch -ch -ch. Uh, gosh, knock down, destroy, um, I'm trying to think of the right word. Um, I'm going to go destroy for the moment, but I don't think we use collapsing the ancient one and even collaborating with people in their surrounding area so the larger area is available um, for reconstruction. Good, nice. Yeah, yeah, good idea there. So a larger area. Uh, this is because generally people are probably more attracted towards modern amenities um, occupied with, um, not occupied with, supplied with safety and security measures. Uh, for example, the Housing Development Authority showed more than 85% of the structures built in the last decade are equipped with, yes, nice one, really nice, uh, brilliant, good examples, that's very nice writing. Thus, it's possible to state beyond doubt that money should be diverted towards developing, um, that uh, money beyond doubt that, here, yeah, that, many citizens would prefer it, it's not that it should be but let's go back to many citizens who are these people then your sentence here links back to these people many citizens would prefer money to be diverted to this or prefer money and you'd have to say to be yeah uh brilliant the conditional sentences i'm thinking of here that we could put in here um uh, which could cause human life, yeah. Maybe you could put, if such buildings were not kept together, human life would be in danger. Uh, just have a little think about that to see if you could get a conditional in there, which just would show another kind of stru structure of grammar, yeah. From the argument examples given, I firmly believe that money should be allot uh, allotted. Uh, we would say allocated. To building new structures instead of consistently injecting money into maintenance activities as it would uh, maintenance activities due to costs the labor uh, and infra structure associated Uh, just to avoid repeating, because because you're sort of a bit repetitive there. Yeah, uh, you've got consume hefty amounts of money. I don't want to say that again. It's predicted if quick decisions are taken to reconstruct ancient construction, the most of the city will be redeveloped. Wow, that would be amazing. Okay, so the, the the trend there is to build new buildings and not look after old ones. Yeah, the only argument I would say on this essay, I think you've written a really, really nice essay. Uh, you're arguing in one direction, which is fine. Um, oh, no, sorry, hang on. Yes, you're saying that might take a long time. I think on the other hand, I might just put a little although clause in here, although there is a case for preser preserving buildings in order to recognize the heritage. Yeah, although there's an argument for protecting the heritage demonstrated in old buildings, because I think that is an argument, the heritage and the culture that these buildings show, I think you could mention that there, and then you go on to your modern one. Okay, but nicely organized. It's a good essay there, looking really nice. So formal apology. Dear sir, madam, and you need to have yours faithfully at the end, really really important this sir is faithfully okay dear mr smith is sincerely and no capital uh, 
My name's Ketten, uh, student number blah. I deeply regret I was not able to provide a reliable proof of my illness during the day of my exam conducted on 18th of March. I was suffering from a light fever, we would say, and cold from past one month. Now watch out, because you're giving me the time, you have to say I have been. I was is finished time. Okay, I have been in the present perfect, suffering from, yeah, uh, for the past month, either for a month or for the past one month, because of which I was under treatment with my family doctor. However, again, over, so watch out on these, over the part, over the last couple of days. So let's not repeat past, over the last couple of days, the situation. Okay, again, present perfect has become worse, has become worse, yeah, well, my situation has become worse, so I don't think you need that. My situation has become worse, as my medical reports show that I now have a viral infection of the throat, of the throat, which has led to, good, fever and cough, hence doctor has a, the doctor has advised me to stay at home, as I might infect others too. Good. To explain my situation, I forgot to request my doctor to provide a medical certificate. Again, don't need that. However, I could present the doctor official prescription as well as pathological reports. Very nice. Now, I request you to conduct the exam for me. Mm, I wouldn't say that. I request you doesn't work. So, and you want to be super polite here. I wonder if might possible okay so we're going to be super polite here I wonder if it might be possible for you to conduct a re-exam watch out for articles here yeah? for me as I'm fully recovered now um, would resume regularly from tomorrow if it's not feasible to arrange the exam for me again then I'd request you this is okay to assign me project work upon relate uh, related to the subject uh, of my exam. Um, well, oh, I don't think you need that related to the subject. Yeah, that's just getting a bit long. Okay. Once again, I apologize for the inconvenience. Lovely. Really good letter. Great work there, kitten. Look after yourself. Uh, really happy with that. Well done.